Thanks for looking at today's video and just continuing on with that T-55 Iraqi army build that I started and all we did last time was sort of clean them up, get some primer on them, then this that initial paint. So we're just continuing on from that. So now I just take them off here. Just be careful with your turrets, don't want to bend your barrels too much. Well, not at all if you can help it. So I just get them off of what I had them on, get rid of that um, paddle pop stick and I'll just get a tiniest bit of blue tack and I'll just um, put a little blue tack on those turrets and then line them up, sit them in, then just whack them on something so I can get a bit of paint onto them, which is what we do now. So I don't, um, for me, I don't know, over paint them, I guess I, that's probably the best way to put it. <laughs> There's probably, I look, there's heaps better people than me out there doing this stuff. So this is just what I do. So um, I'll bring a couple over. So we've got a couple there, just that paint, initial paint on them. And the first color we're going to use is Russian uniform. And we're just going to paint these fuel drums just randomly across the models. So just a little bit in the palette. And there needs to be a drop. And I would use a number, I won't use the number one brush, that's for sure. I would use uh, five zero. Sorry if there's not enough light. The lighting's terrible. The, um, so yeah, just got a little bit of paint in that palette there. So just grab a little bit of that. And I'll just go along and paint some of these. So some, if you look at um, the vehicles used in the Gulf War, um, a lot of them were uh, had fuel, external fuel tanks painted uh, desert colours, and then some had replacement tanks, obviously kept in storage. And then when tanks ran out of, when the external tanks ran out of fuel, um, you could just drop them off, or you could refill them if you want. But a lot were just dropped off and dumped. So just going around a little bit of a little bit of paint on them and I paint them just randomly. So another another one here. Why is that light so bad? So I just paint one on this vehicle instead of the two. And we'll do T-55s again, um, European setting, and then we'll do them in, you know, other colours, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, there we go. That's the first colour. Get a bit of that on there. If um, you can see, we've got the Apache build going on. There's one up here in the corner. It's almost um, complete. So we're getting that build done. So that'll be the next video we go back to, but that's not the purpose of this video, I suppose. Is it? All right, next colour. We're using USA 10 Earth. If it works. If I find the paint doesn't work, I just give it a little poke with something. I should look after my paints better. And uh, get a little bit of that tan earth out. And with the tan earth, I'm just going across the beam across the back. Just like that. Just give them a bit of colour. So obviously go along and do all of them pretty much the same. Just 
just like that. So, got a bit of colour, same brush, 5 0 brush, give it a little rinse out in water. It's a good size brush for GHQ models. Then the next colour we're going to move on to is gunmetal grey. And once again, it's just a just a drop on the palette. And with gunmetal grey, I'm just I just want to go along and just go around that track a little bit, just to give it a little bit of colour on the on the model. Nothing too special. I mean, there's heaps of reference photos you want to look this stuff up. There's, sometimes the tracks look clean, sometimes they look dirty. And then there's a cable, towing cable that runs down the side here. I don't always paint them, but uh, sometimes I do. So just, you can just see it along there. So it's just a matter of just getting that brush on there. To just give it a little bit of colour. You can also use a lead pencil, which we might do in another video. Same with this track on this side, because it's not going for a real muddy look. We're going more for a dry, dusty desert look. So that's why that's why that colour works. You could also do a bit of chipping if you wanted with a bit of that grey, but there's not heaps, uh, heaps of the T55 models from GHQ. So give that a little clean out. And then now we're going to switch over our brush and we'll go to that number one brush. And what I want to do is just like a, a light dusty look across the top. And for that, we're using tan yellow. You can't really read the label. Um, some of my paints are a bit old. So I'm just getting some tan yellow there on the palette. And we'll get some water as well. And then we'll just... Mm, that's a bit thick. Test it out somewhere first. I'll just work it across. Give it a little bit of that dusty look. And it tones down that sometimes tones out that shiny part of the tank too. So um, where's our so this one's got tracks painted. So we're saying it's got that tracks painted. You can do the same thing. A bit of water. And just go across. It just fits in amongst that track. And when it dries, you have this sort of dusty looking look on top of the vehicles. So I'll go around and do that to all of them. So the rest I'll do sort of off camera to bring them up to speed and then if you want um, I do sometimes use panel line black just across the engine decks and sometimes across the road wheels so if we get a little bit here just touching onto those road wheels if you want just to give them a little bit of a little bit of blackness around them. And a little bit across this engine deck. Just gives that a little bit of color. That's too much. So don't do that. We'll try again with this one. Like that. Gives it that good color. So you just, yeah, just go around and just 
little bit on those road wheels. So that's how I do the um, T55s for the desert sort of look. If I'm going for a desert themed look, and this is our Rark Army, and look, there's plenty of reference photos out there. Um, and we've got a stack of them here, so we've got 10, and I'd normally do 20 at a time or something, you know, I'd do a, a whole heap um, in one go if I'm doing a desert theme. But thanks for looking at the video, that's that little series done. Um, two videos, about probably all up half an hour, and you could build a tank army quite easy. So thanks for looking at the video, and we'll catch you on the next video, which will be back to that uh, Apache assembly, and that's one there that is it's an off camera build, but. Um, we'll come back to that um, next video. Thank you so much for watching. If there's a GHQ build you want to see, let us know. And if I've got it in stock, we'll get it built. Thank you.